What's up guys? Welcome to another Armor 3 Eden Editor tutorial. This is the one that a lot of people have been asking for um, and that is how I set up the ACE Medical Training Facility where I spawn in patients for the players to uh, practice their ACE Medical on. Now um, remember to get this to work you have to set up the ACE Medical System which I showed in my previous video. But let's jump straight into it. So what we're going to do, we have to create some SQF files again. So let's go straight into it. Um, we're going to go, you need to go documents, armor free profiles, multiplayer, uh, YouTube tutorial, and I'm going to put everything into scripts. You're going to go create new uh, text document which is going to be uh, create patient uh, dot oops, not comma dot sqf and yes that's what we want then we're going to copy over the script here um, by now if you've been watching my videos you should be able to do this quite easily uh, I'm going to copy that over let's get back into that Control V file save now you're going to make two of those both of the um, them will be down linked to do Google's doc I call it create patient dot SQF and create patient one dot SQF and the reason for that is that you can create two patients at a time and they're not creating the same unit either both is a survivor unit they just look a bit different so sq files are done so let's go back into the game now what you have to do now is you have to place down data terminal and place down uh, a laptop okay so the data terminal once you've placed it down you have to double click on the data terminal and you're going to post in this little script this add action all this does it gives uh, the user uh, interface menu once you get close to the data terminal the, it's going to tell you create patient and then we're going to call up the script that's directory and that's the script we just created create patient.hkf um, and also this data terminal you, i call it medical data and this one here I call medical data one. Oh, it's the same medical. Uh, no, it's not. It can't be the same. Cancel. There, medical data one. Also, going to add action, and here we call up the second script, uh, which you're going to create exactly the same as I did with the first one. Create patient one dot hkf. Remember, this will be in the Google Doc links down below as well. And this side. What this side does, it uh, deletes the patients that you don't want anymore. So we're going to add action, delete patients. Um, if it's type of B survivor uh, underscore F, that is the one unit we spawn in to practice on. Or if it's part of BG survivor underscore F, that's the second one we score in. Ah, we spawn in. No unit uh, player will be of that kind. Sorry. Uh, so it will delete those units um, now remember before we set up medical facilities and all that kind of stuff so let's go see how this works remember I placed down two data terminals one is called data uh, medical data one and the other one is just called medical data and I placed a laptop and I also placed, uh, placed some medical supply boxes so that you have got supplies and turn them into a virtual arsenal so that um, it's got an unlimited supply of those so you see it's selected as virtual let's go and see how this works play scenario and multiplayer i obviously need to be a combat lifesaver now what i did um, for the training purposes i disabled the <coughs> oh, under the modules, I enabled um, 
prevent instant death so that the the, the uh, AI that you spawn in don't just spawn in dead if the injuries are severe enough they will spawn in dead so let's go to one of the data terminals you see there's the add action create patient it will give you a little animation there's your patient he's unconscious create patient spawns in your second patient they should still be alive you should be able to carry them and all that kind of stuff no this guy seems dead because i can't carry him but this guy's still up now if you decide that you don't want your patients anymore just click delete patients yes this guy is dead otherwise that's why he's not deleted the cleaning script will delete him eventually so let's try again great patient great patient there we go there you've got two patients that you can work on um, obviously you can go into the arsenal get some stuff and heal them accordingly um, let me just quickly run through scripts and explain to you how the scripts work um, the, 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 the script in the init field of the data terminal and uh, the laptop should be self-explanatory um, let me just run through this script quickly so what we basically do um, this is how we create it we create a b survivor underscore if um, if there's one already it's going to delete it first um, then it calls on the data terminal this activates the data terminal to actually animate it creates the unit b underscore survivors underscore if you can make this any unit but um, then also we say do stop we do stop uh, patient one because we don't want this person to walk around or anything like that um, oh I forgot to show you one thing to actually determine where the patients spawn in what I use is um, if you oh wait I need to go back into the editor almost forgot to show you this part So you'll see if you look here you can't see any markers but if you go into the map you will find <coughs> there are some markers here now what you how you get this you go to markers you go to system and you select empty the first one I called patient one the second one I called patient two and this gets called up in this script uh, get position uh, get marker position patient one and when we run the second data terminal it will actually say get patient mark uh, marker position patient two um, what it now does is it gives that patient a name patient one so select random this is the severity of the wounds 0 0.3 0 0.5 0 0.7 0 0.9 it selects a random number between those for the leg left right body head hand hand and then it's going to select randomly what kind of wound is going to be a stab bullet or falling wound and then we call on ace medical function to add that damage to the unit um, then we're going to animate the date the data terminal again just to close it and it will give you a hint on your screen your patient is ready guys i know this was done very very fast um but so many people have been asking me for this and to actually show you how i did this i hope this was clear if i ran through too fast please let me know if anything is unclear then i will go through and if i have to make another video and uh, spend more time make it a longer video i try and keep my videos 10 12 minutes tops um if i go I don't want to split this into multiple videos and there's a siren in the background my apologies there we go it's far past now so um, yeah I don't want to break this in a couple of videos because that's going to get confusing I have tested my setup of the medical facilities and a medical vehicle actually does work so guys I hope this was informative please bash the subscribe button if you if you want to see more videos like this bash the like button if this was helpful and if you like my videos 
shared my videos around so you can help me get a few more subscribers it will be greatly appreciated as always with the links to my patreon discord facebook etc will be down below in the description as well the links to last resort gaming and their forums guys thank you for watching another one uh, enjoy making your missions i will always keep trying to learn more myself so i can teach you a bit more like i said before i am not a master scripter most of these scripts i went and researched on Omaholic or bohemia itself or um, like to animate the data terminal that i got from bohemia so guys um, enjoy see you in the next one